What's up, ladies and gentlemen? How's it going? It's Dan here from Grand Noir, and it's time for another devlog. What did I do wrong? You want me to hold it in my mouth and dribble all over it? <laughs> What's been happening since the last time? Well, a few things here and there. Last time out, I didn't know when I was going to be able to get around to doing another devlog um, because we were changing game engines. We were going over from Game Maker 1.4 through to Game Maker 2, uh, and I was a little concerned as to how difficult that was going to be, how much work was going to be involved in making the transition, and how much you know learning was going to be required. So I decided I was going to do some tutorial courses, and I was going to sort of document them, and maybe do uh, another episode or so of uh, Dan's game making journey, um, and just sort of see how long that was going to take for, for to get you know up to speed with the with the engine. Um, it turns out not very long actually. I did, I did a couple of tutorials, or basic tutorials, and ran through uh, that, and I was just running through them like without any any significant hitches. I was just like, oh, so effectively the things that have changed are, are relatively minor. Uh, it's mostly UI changes, but you know there are a few little things here with regards to instance create and all that kind of stuff, but nothing hugely significant. So it didn't really seem. Uh, much point continuing on with the uh, with the tutorials, so that was that. I just sort of abandoned them and thought, right, we'll just jump into it. Josh has done an exceptional job uh, transferring everything over from GM14 to to two. Man, you should be going to MIT or something. I can't thank him enough. He's done a really good job, and uh, I'm really really sort of chuffed with the way it's uh, with the way it's going. Because the levels are now uh, different sizes, or the blocks for the levels are different sizes. There's loads of issues like with them um, with the controls for stars. The control scheme was sort of geared up and all the play testing I'd done before was with the levels built how they were um, so I built the control so that they felt right then and you know some of them need a little bit tweaking but that sort of stuff is going to come with time we'll we'll just keep iterating and keep improving there things like all the backgrounds are all wrong now anyway but a lot of those were, were sort of potentially going to get changed as well um, and particularly now that we can animate the backgrounds so they, they, we're going to have all new backgrounds so that's going to be really cool that's something that we've got to work on um, but yeah, the the levels I'd sort of thrown together because they were sort of done in a vacuum. When we put them in and put them together, they don't really run as well as um, I would like. Um, but that's fine. It just you know I will just keep tweaking and working on those and getting them better until uh, the, you know we have some we have some good levels going there as well. So all in all, we're back into it. We're back up and running, and that's all gone perfectly fine. So next, Josh has designed an enemy and got that in the game, and that was now wandering around and sort of doing stuff. Um, just kind Kind of chillaxing as it were uh, that just sort of potters back and forth at the moment doesn't really do very much um, and you can see there was no uh, there was no interaction there whatsoever so my next step was then to add interaction basically so uh, I gave them hit points and things like that and made it so that the gun would kill them and you know if you touched them then you would also kill them um, some of the we, we decided we're going to play around with the bounce back and, and try and tidy that up a little bit well as well and some other things there's, there's still lots of little finicky things that need changing and, and amending and, to, and improving but you know that's good it's all kind of iterating and improving every little step then Josh went and changed the sprite for the um, the fire the, 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 the bullet he's changed that and added a load more particle effects and other things like that to make that look totally cool so that's a, a big improvement that looks really really good as well that's been added and added a second enemy as well so we now have two enemies in the game pottering about the place um, again that can be interacted with and could be uh, be killed um, so that's that's yeah we've been working we've really been working oh what do you want a metal oh next thing I decided I was gonna try and add a squish and stretch effect to uh, the main sprite um, the main character so when he jumps he squishes and, and, and deforms and stuff uh, and it's a really cool little thing just to kind of make it feel like he's more connected with the world and it gives it a much more cartoony feel as well which is what we're kind of going for um, I had a few problems with that uh, it's not in and it's not working at the moment basically uh, it's to do with uh, the image X scale manipulation uh, and I've been, been messing with that and basically it w I got it to the stage where it was it was manipulating just the outline um, of the main sprite which was not good <laughs> just kind of like the background shadow if you know what I mean of the main sprite and then I managed to get it so it did actually affect all of the sprite and everything but because we're calling the image X scale um, for the, the sort of the turning if you know what I mean and we're amending it there um, because we're applying a um, a lerp, a lerp, a lerp, a lerp, a lerp, a lerp, linear interpolation or whatever because we're applying a lerp to that 
so that we could then do this. It was doing, it was applying that all the time. So every time your character turned, he turned sort of, rather than just immediately switch, switching, he kind of did like a really, <laughs> kind of a relatively slow kind of turn. Uh, and it kind of, it gave it sort of a Paper Mario feel, you know, like where it looked like a, a 2D sprite turning around. It looked really, looked really interesting. And I'll be honest, I kind of ummed and ahed about whether or not we should keep that because it did kind of look quite cool. Um, uh, we'd have to add it to the gun sprite as well to give it that, but I sort of thought, oh, no, because then we'd have to add that to everything and I didn't really want to do that. I just, you know, so it, 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 we've got to go back to that and I've got to try and fix that, but that shouldn't be a problem. It should be fairly straightforward to get that all sorted. I should have that done next week. Yep, uh, because of an idea we have regarding sort of ammunition and um, sort of the money within the game, as it were, you know, the kind of collectibles and all that sort of stuff, because we have some interesting ideas about how that's all going to work, um, we want it so that people don't have to use the weapons to kill the enemies if they don't want. So I've added a jump stomp on head mechanic a la Mario and Sonic. So that's in there as well now. So yeah, it's all, all very well. We, we are making more fo forward progress. Everything's good. Oh, I've started doing some artwork as well for some of the backgrounds, and you know, Josh has been doing a few other little bits as well. So it's yeah, we, we've got managed to get a lot done in the past couple of weeks. It's um, we we got to the stage, we, we transferred over to the new engine and got it up to sort of the stage we were kind of at before and we've moved on as well and added a load more stuff so we've had a real a real good push over the past couple of weeks it's been really good we've got a lot a lot going um so that's that's really cool um so yeah hopefully um long may it continue and we will carry on and, and get more stuff and and then we'll get this game out there and get it ready ready to be shipped thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed the devlog uh thank you as always for supporting us and sticking with us while we work our way through this game and you get to sort of see the whole process as it were um if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button hit the like and then you know you'll get to you'll get to go on the journey with us as well um oh. Uh, so, yeah. so yes, thank you very much. Um, like I say, check us out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all the usual things were on there. So check us out, there are links in the description below. Happy days. Cheers. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye. Something uh, about engines that, that calms me down, you know? You're wiggling like a French poodle. <laughs>